Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Agenda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as Great Britain. It's September 1903, and we are at war with Germany. Just make sure the stream is. Yeah, it looks alright. Flag test. A couple seconds only. Okay. Right, so it's September 1903. We're at war with Germany. We have been for three months. We have a pretty nominal superiority in Northern Europe, really. We don't have them under blockade. In fact, they have superiority in numbers, technically, mainly because of destroyers, but they have one more battleship than us. They actually have more of every ship category than us in Northern Europe now. Problematic. We gotta make sure we don't end up under blockade, but, uh, I'm fairly confident of us beating them in any battle that happens there, barring my bad judgment or general bad luck. Our ships are definitely one for one, a lot heavier than theirs, as the tonnage numbers show. We are trying, that's the main theater of conflict, we are also trying, where's my task force gotten to? I think it's passing through the med, but we are trying to chase down these assorted heavy cruisers and light cruisers and, well, they're armored cruisers and protected cruisers mostly at this date, but, uh, never mind that. We're trying to run down the cruisers that they have scattered all over the African area. Um, hopefully we can get that achieved. Is this, is that the task force that's in? Yes, they're headed through the Mediterranean to the Indian Ocean right now. And hopefully they'll be able to catch some of the... There's actually no German cruisers in the Indian Ocean, but we can head to South Africa or West Africa from there. So I think... Let's see, we have a decent monthly balance right now, but not enough for me to afford resuming one of these battleships, so... We've got enough ships on trade protection with the Stag class. We really need more destroyers, but... I think we have 600 ton destroyers available now. Yeah, so we'd need a new class, and we don't really have the money while we're at war. Gunnery training is underway. It might not actually finish before the war does, but we will try anyway. So, let's see. Enemy coastal bombardment. Large, Great Yarmouth. Okay. Well, it's not that large, because there's no battleships, but all right. That Malonzo fails command check, but we're still getting... Ah, nuclear strategist. We're still getting, looks like, four armor, uh, five armored cruisers, a protected cruiser, and a bunch of destroyers. Hopefully, the Germans don't have any battleships or anything like that. No, oh, it's about to get dark anyway. And this makes me realize I need to reorganize my divisions, because a bunch of these cruisers got converted from protected to armored, and I never changed the divisions they were in. That said, I'm not sure. Well, the timer is so long that it'll be daylight again by the time... Uh, I suppose that's what we gotta protect. It'll be daylight again by the time the battle ends, so... We've just got to hang around here and try to find the Germans in the dark, or... Huh. I don't know. Oh, yeah, if we've got, um... Sport Force also, that's good. I... Don't know why that is. I don't really watch through Discord much. It must be a glitch with Discord if you did a reinstall and it's still still doing it, I would think. Okay, so let's put the speed up a little more and we're just going to cruise around all night and hope that the Germans show up. Oh, 
Oh. Um. Okay. Let's get some speed up and head over that way, shall we? We still have kind of a formation. Kind of. We got four cruisers here. That'll have to do. There's definitely something up here to the east. Northeast. It's still terrible. It's just past midnight. So our odds of finding them are not good. Their course was north northeast or north northwest possibly. So north, but Okay, there's Pandora. I don't see any enemy ships that she's engaged with. And there's the rest of the uh, support force. They don't look like they've taken any hits really, so... Whatever they engaged is not here now. Back to cruising speed, I guess. These coastal raids are just so futile prior to radar. I mean, if they're still around in the morning, then maybe we find them, yeah. But until then, no. Practically the odds of any kind of successful engagement in the night. Just basically zero. Okay, a little bit of daylight. Rainy, but... Better than nothing. Our range is still only about 11,000 yards for sighting them. 10,000 now for sighting. So... There we go. Okay, sure. Huh. It was probably a winning fight, but I don't know... Where the hell did they go? Oh. They came in, very, very briefly engaged the supporting force, and then booked it back north and then east. They're nowhere near us. Okay, well we'll win since they didn't achieve anything. Basic weight control, 1% weight saving. Oh, and we gain VP for blockade, but they're not- oh, they are under blockade. Where'd the ships go? Huh. I don't know how we have them under blockade. I mean, I think we have an- I think we get something from like our advantageous geographical position. But they still have more ships than us, so it's a little harsh on them. Okay, the budget is looking pretty good, so we can resume another one of these Romilius class battleships. And then honestly, I should probably lay down some destroyers, but... And I'll lay down destroyers with the money we get once these are finished, yeah? Okay, our cruiser force has made it to here. There's one German CL there, but... The bulk of them look to be concentrating in West Africa for some reason, so let's head... That way with this force. West Africa. I think that's the core of the reaction force I had. I mean, they'll be outgunned a lot if they make it over there, actually, but it should be fine. The German armored cruisers are mostly not that good, so. Convoy defense. Okay. Oh, and we're actually getting battleships. Three of them. Rodney, Anson, and Camperdown. These are all Collingwood-class battleships, and they only have two escorting destroyers, so... The Germans had better not have much other than battleships of their own. Because these have... I mean, these are legacy ships. They have very outdated armor. Old guns, and... Well... Very limited secondaries, so why is the convoy not moving? Okay. Nope. 
found them. Alright, let's get up to our blistering top speed of 15 knots. Let's see what there is to see over here. Not really going north. Um, I see two CLs. Oh, I see battleships, I think. But all this means we're heavily outnumbered, I think. I mean, even counting destroyers, okay, they should have more destroyers, but still a little on cool. Then again, maybe we have t three battleships to their two, so that's... Yeah, maybe that makes up for it. I only see two battleships. Although, Baden here... SMS Baden, uh, a very new battleship, 11,900 tons, three knots faster than us. Four 11 inch guns, 10 7 inch. Such a thin belt, though. Even if that's Krupp cement, it's like 7.5 inches to our 14. Well, the sad thing is 7.5 inches of Krupp to 14 of. This is maybe not even compound. Maybe it is, but. Um, it's probably equal or better, but uh, it's still not much of a belt for a battleship. Also, I just noticed these legacy guns are minus three quality, which means we have to be within about 3,000 yards to penetrate those anyway. Um, and then we have Ost Friesland, which has four 10 inch, 10 6 inch, and an 11 inch belt. Not as scary a secondary battery, but a lot better armor. Not as scary a primary battery either, to be fair. But. Yeah. We are outranged despite having bigger guns, which is not a good sign. We're actually going to want to get the range as close as possible while staying out of torpedo range, because I don't trust the accuracy of these guns much at all. However, they have the speed, which means they can kind of control the range if they want. So it kind of feels like they're just running away. And they're not really trying to circle around to the convoy or anything. I'm gonna take a take a turn here and see if they just leave. No, they're circling back around now, huh? Yep. Got about, I don't know, two or three light cruisers plus destroyers sort of hovering out there. You know, they just cleanly outrange us. If they were smart, they would just stay out of our range and try to get hits, but... Damn, we're like straight up surrounded now. Okay, we need to circle around and get back to the convoy probably. Maybe if we're lucky we kill whatever this light cruiser is. It's a 3300 tonner. If we get one good hit by luck on it, uh, she will just die, but... Direct conning tower hit? Really? Okay. That's gotta be outside the torpedo range. It's miles outside ours. Hmm, should I try to close the range? Probably should. We're not winning gunnery wise. In fact, what this engagement is telling me is I probably have overestimated how much the Collingwoods are still even decent. Oh, there's the convoy. They are... definitely need to be replaced, but, I mean, I'm not going to build a ton of pre-dreadnoughts just to try to replace them. We're just going to focus on... Uh, focus on building 
dreadnoughts, pretty much, shortly. With any luck, at least. I mean, it's 1903. Maybe we'll have to do a semi-dreadnought class, but I'm hoping not to really build any pre-dreadnoughts after the Remilius. I think we've gotten zero hits on them so far. On the bright side, they're not anywhere near getting to the convoy, but, uh... How's our ammo looking? Well, 81%. Pretty good, actually. might be breaking off. Which is a bit, uh... I wouldn't really be breaking off if I were them. I think they got very slightly the better of the gunnery engagement. And they have enough light cruisers and destroyers that they could definitely have mangled the convoy while I was trying to hold their battleships off, but, uh... Doesn't seem like they're inclined to even try. I guess we drop a whole knot to our cruising speed, yay. Yeah, the speed of these is pretty... Pretty bad these days. Okay, darkness, yeah. Well, I think we've done it at least. We've held them off. We'll just sort of zigzag, cover the rear of the convoy, and, uh... Should be a win. A minor win, but a win. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we, um... Anson and Rodney both took a couple of hits. Nothing too catastrophic. I mean, they only got one heavy hit, but yeah, we didn't hit them at all. And holy cow, the wind. Apparently, we damn near sank this destroyer with one hit, but, uh... Raiders scuttled due to lack of fuel. That's nice. I don't know how, um... Well, they've only got 31 armored cruisers, let's put it that way. I mean, that's quite a few, because we're on, like, was it super large fleets even? But, uh... It's a bit of a... Hurt them a little bit. Building more and more of these bottom class. They aren't that bad. I mean, my newer preacher would not be fine against them. I need to reorganize divisions. Let's see here. First, second, third, fine. Fourth, the Hannibals. Sixth and seventh are the illustrious class. Fifth are the first of the London. Okay. We're going to need to create an eighth. Eighth battle division. And we will put the other three Londons into the eighth battle division. There we are. Yeah, and then C. These are all CAs now, really. So we gotta reorganize that too. You are. First Armored Cruiser Division now. You... are... Well, Second Armored Cruiser Division exists and is pretty much full. No oh boy. Second, third, fourth exist. Fifth is very much just sort of empty. Fill it up. And then these guys are going to need to be... That many conversions? Okay, we're going to need like a 6th and a 7th 
armored cruiser division, temporarily at least. Oh, I see. Yes. I forget at what point exactly I'm supposed to start calling them. Uh... Oh, this is six, isn't it? Or, well, whatever, but sixth and. Uh, no, just the other. Seventh. Armored. Okay. You four will be the sixth armored cruiser division. You four the seventh armored cruiser division. Okay, are all the armored cruisers now actually in armored cruiser divisions? Yes. Okay, and then light cruisers. Let's see. U six. First protected cruiser division. Great. Boo. Except one of you doesn't fit. Okay, it's five maximum. Fine, leave Ariadne. Well, I don't actually love leaving Ariadne out, but uh of Terps, of course, we currently have seven, so You know, the current division works, it's just weird. I guess those are the third colonial cruiser division. These are the first colonial cruiser division, and this is how you end up with having no second colonial cruiser division, which is fine. And the Cordelias get to be the Second protected cruiser division, except I am renaming it to. Oh god. Um. There it is. Second light cruiser division, because those are our first actual light cruisers, I would say. I'll be at the. Uh... The exact definitions are vague at best, but yeah. Okay, where did the German cruisers end up? Where did my cruisers end up? What? You're going to the Mediterranean? Or through the Mediterranean to get to West Africa? Good grief. Where did the German ones end up anyway? There's a couple in South Africa. And the rest... Came home, do we think? Or huh. yeah, they must have all gone home, honestly, because they're not anywhere else. All there is out here is like two light cruisers in South Africa, which is not worth keeping this force out for. So all of you will divert back to Northern Europe, I guess. Seems like we've chased the Germans out somehow or other. Enemy coastal bombardment again. Okay. It's given us four armored cruisers. Five protected crew. Well, three light cruisers, actually. Although. Aren't those all. Cordelia's that I put in that division, and we'll figure it out. Five light cruisers, various destroyers, expected enemy forces, a few CAs and CLs. I mean, that should be fine, just, um... I don't know if we'll actually find them. Oh, but it's daylight, so that's a good sign. Maybe we will manage to run into them. We've got a few hours. What's this now? Oh, right down there? Okay. Get up to speed and get after them. Well, 
they're down south here somewhere. And you guys subordinate yourselves to the lead division. I don't want to micro all of you while we're not engaged yet. Okay. Um. Alright. Nothing right here. Turn east then, investigate these reports. Nope, and it's dark. Good grief, it's only 1600. It's November though, and we're awfully far north really. Oh, and there they are though. About to be full dark. I'm not actually sure that's even them, that could be a freighter from our side or something. No, let's fit. Nope, that's gotta be them. That's them. Oh boy, just as full dark falls, we're trundling headlong into the German fleet at 20 knots. And they're gone though. And there they are. Figured we'd have to run into them a little bit. Now the problem... Let's do an emergency turn. The problem is the risk of being torpedoed. Also, I think we're just losing the gunfight. Uh, Indefatigable just lost her bridge, and I'm pretty sure Hampshire is not answering the helm. Please turn, Hampshire. What the hell was that? Yeah, Hampshire's definitely not turning. I don't know what that last sound effect was. But I don't think we've lost a ship, have we? So it wasn't like a detonation. Uh, yes. How bad is it? Oh, holy cow. Oh, she hit a torpedo. She was hit by a torpedo. Alright, um... Yeah. Head for home, please. It's pretty bad, but not that bad. Theoretically, it's only like 70 miles to Harwich, or 100 to Grimsby. I mean, she should be able to limp home on paper. Also, I've got a... let's see... Can I change it in here? Maybe not. When we get out of this battle, I gotta change my notification settings, because... I really prefer to be told very explicitly if my ships get hit by torpedoes, and I think that got changed during the update or something. Okay, that looks like it's probably an armored cruiser. Which is actually kind of okay to engage at short range. I'd rather fight that at this range than a destroyer. Somebody launched a torpedo. It was one of our destroyers. Two of our destroyers. They didn't hit a damn thing, but... Almost. Almost, almost. Um, turn to starboard or turn to port? Turn to port. Didn't make much difference. Turn to port some more. I'm not actually sure we have a firepower advantage right here. They've got at least two Graudens class 11,000 ton armored cruisers with 8 inch guns. Plus this Kohlberg has 6 8 inch guns and mine here have, well, 9 inch guns to be fair, but they're older. It's a pretty even engagement probably. Actually, we just shot that Kohlberg up pretty nicely. Well done, Devonshire, Carnarvon, and Antrim. How are we doing damage-wise? We're all just fine, actually. As are the light cruisers. Which would we actually get? We got a Cordelia and two Terps, of course. Okay, well those are modern all. Oh. One of them actually got hit by a torpedo. Well, he's probably screwed. Is Hampshire making her way home? 
Not really. Uh, it's a really good thing on paper, but I found it to be kind of iffy. Okay. We're engaging this Danzig at 300 yards, which is fine as far as her gunnery goes, mostly, but I really could get torpedoed. I don't love night engagements, but it feels like we're winning this one, so... What the hell just... oh! The Danzig got hit by a torpedo, I think, is what that said. I really want the pop-ups back for that. I think we have two cruisers dead, you know? And this is a... no, this is only a 7600 tonner. It'd be nice to kill one of the big, big ones if we're gonna lose Hampshire. Which... You know, it'd also be nice if Hampshire would head for port, but I really am not sure she is. Our destroyers have done good work, though. That's gotta be their two Kohlbergs, I think, so if we can keep up the bombardment on them... I mean, their hit, or their ground ends, is I mean. Nope. Oh, well, one of them's a Kohlberg, but. Let's see if we can just go up the middle here. Kind of getting our T crossed, but now we're gonna be able to rake them as we go past, so. Alright, that's a little too close. Hard to port. Back to starboard. Okay, that is a Groudens. I mean, that, those are the prize, right? 11,000 tons. That's, I'm fairly sure, literally bigger than... Cons it is, in fact, bigger than most of Germany's battleship force. That's a big armored cruiser. Oh, she's burning. You know, we might, we might really have a pretty uh, famous little victory here, if we don't lose anything else. Let's not count our chickens just yet. I mean, thanks to our hidden flaws, we could just explode at any second. I mean, we could anyway, but it's more likely. It's not a battleship, that's the other Groudens, I think. Carnarvon and Devonshire just took a couple hard hits back, but we're all right. I think that one is dead. Probably. So if we get this one, too. I mean, four? Four German cruisers? That's a Kohlberg. That torpedo hit. So that one's dead. Hot damn. We just, uh... I think we just made the Germans regret raiding Britain, thank you very much. No bombarding Yarmouth for you this time around, Jerry. Yeah. Alright, honestly we might be able to re-establish contact if we chase them, but I'm not gonna try. I'm pretty content with the knight's pickings. I say the night, it's only 7.20, but... Nineteen hundred twenty. that is, but... Yeah, ammo, well, is fine, really, but... I think those two should be dead. I don't see them surviving, really. Oh, hey, Hampshire is actually headed back to port. Good for her. Um... Now the AI's been known to do weird things, but I doubt they're coming back at this point. Let's go back down to cruising speed. How is everybody looking? Let's just take stock. Devonshire. Oof. Devonshire got a little battered by 6 and 8 inch in the end. I mean, she's alright. I don't think she's gonna sink, but... Definitely took some hits. Battle scars. Carnarvon's alright. Antrim is almost on hit. 
Indefatigable, also almost on hit. Melampus, basically fine. Karis for basically fine. So it's really only... Oh, Phaeton, also basically fine. So really out of the whole force, it's only, um, well, HMS Hampshire, of course. And HMS Devonshire took significant damage, but, uh... I mean, I think for that loss, we sank four... German cruisers, if I'm not much mistaken, so... That is a pretty outstanding victory, in my eyes. So I think we make our way back to Harwich and uh, celebrate. will actually beat us there, not by much, but uh, by a little bit, which I'll take. And everybody get into port before we manage to lose anybody. Son of a bitch. Captain Heat and Ellis, you are being big court-martialed. You... Incompetent bastard. Eaton Ellis. I'm remembering that name so I can fire him once we get out of this battle. Well. Alright. He didn't cause any ship to actually sink, so I might spare him. And we did we backed five German cruisers. Oh that's a pretty big win. So what are we- we had battleships involved? Where? I mean, nowhere. They didn't actually get involved, but they must have been part of the Coast Guard force somewhere. So we had four armored and six protected cruisers all together against six and five. Which is a pretty even fight on paper. Same number of destroyers as well. We managed to- let's see here. Test, one hit, fine. We didn't actually lose a single ship, which is pretty impressive. We sank six. Five of them actually cruisers. Antrim, very minor damage only. Couple of eight inch, but uh... Growl bends it looks like, but yeah, nothing crippling. Augsburg here only took one six inch hit from us, so she got off just fine. G92, wow, G92 has no structure after being hit by a six inch shell, but lived. Indefatigable, just a couple of, well, one eight inch shot, which apparently destroyed her bridge immediately. Plus one five inch, but uh, she lived. G91 here. Survived two six-inch shells, which is rare for a destroyer this small, albeit barely. I think it's because they both managed to hit turrets, which means they didn't cause any real flotation damage. Apparently this Ariadne totally intact, except for an engine breakdown. Melampus, minor damage only from a few six-inch is Mohawk. 5-inch and a couple of 3-inch shells, but survived. A 3D. 6-inch hit and a 5-inch hit, but also barely survived. That was pretty close, yeah. Phaeton, only minor damage, mostly 5-inch and some 7-inch from the ground dances, right, I think. Cars for just the one... 5-inch hit, I think. Yeah. I'm not even sure why she's so far up, far up the damage list. Frankfurt. Minor 6-inch and 3-inch fire. 
and apparently rudder damage at some point, but we didn't uh, really take advantage. This was one of their crowd dances too, so it's a shame we didn't, but uh, still pretty satisfied. Pandora took only minor, well, two 8-inch shells and a couple of 5-inch. B-83 here was hit by, looks like, four 6-inch shells and survived for an hour still afterwards. But for a 400-ton destroyer, it's pretty crazy, but uh, she sank. Karlsruhe here only actually got hit by, what, two 9-inch shells plus three 6-inch and some 4-inch and 3-inch, but uh, no, she was on fire. That's what caused all the superstructure damage. Carnarvon comes through all right despite the collision at, while entering port. And I mean a few 8-inch and 3-inch and 5-inch shells, but nothing crippling. Devonshire also s below average. Yeah, no kidding, Captain. I mean, 28 hits, definitely the most gun damage out of any of our ships. A lot of 8-inch and 6-inch from Breslau and Graudens and so on, but um, not too terrible. I mean, she wasn't in imminent danger of sinking. Hampshire, the torpedo hit she took, um, from an actual enemy destroyer, G93, uh, definitely caused her some damage, but she managed to get the flooding under control and made it home, so could have been worse. Could have been one of these five. Danzig, 4,900 tons, not exactly an armored cruiser, but uh, technically an armored cruiser. Apparently her engines broke down before she even made it to the battle, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, 9-inch and 3-inch from our armored cruiser line, well, and 6-inch, pretty much pulverized her. And HMS Flying Fish hit, with her, her, hit her with a torpedo to make sure of it. Plus another torpedo from HMS Arun, but yeah. A small ship, but a good kill. And uh, we got one protected cruiser the Dresden class uh, Pilau, which, wow, I mean only a few, what, two 9-inch hits, three 9-inch hits, and three 6-inch hits plus one 3-inch, but um, apparently it's the engine room, turret, hole, I mean the engine room is the only one that really, I mean hole maybe, but I'm surprised she sank, but it did apparently take her 12 hours before flooding finally did her in in the morning, so this would be the one I didn't know we killed because she succumbed to a really minor amount of damage, but that's part of the risk of fighting so far from your bases relative to your opponent's bases. Uh, Breslau here, a Kohlberg class, 7600 tonner, 6 8 inch guns. Not a bad ship, theoretically, but uh, yeah. Pretty pulverized by 6-inch and 9-inch gunfire, it looks like. And one torpedo. Just for the sake of it. And here she was sinking. So she took a lot of fire before she sank, actually. As you'd kind of expect from the Germans. I don't know where the torpedo hit her. Oh. From Carnarvon. But that was a bit of a coup de grace. This one, well, this was the last one. I, this was the last one we sank, I think. Or maybe the second to last, but... SMS mains, another Kohlberg. Less shots, right? 49. Um, yeah, quite a lot less, but then again, the other one was sinking halfway through. And the torpedoes did a lot of work, potentially. Oh, wow, this one actually sank. Oh, wow, Carnarvon. HMS Carnarvon managed to torpedo two cruisers. That's quite impressive, really. I'm sure they were both slowed down already, but still. She's only got underwater tubes. Um, yeah, I mean, some 9-inch and 6-inch, and then that torpedo pretty much did her in immediately. And we did get one of the big Groudens class with just sheer gunfire. No torpedoes on this one, but just spectacular amounts of 9-inch and 6-inch gunfire. Which, yeah... 
And there she is. Oh, fires even, yeah. Fire took her down, and we hit her a lot more after she was already sinking, but, uh... Well, that's a fantastic result. One armored cruiser badly damaged and one moderately. Two destroyers badly damaged, nothing sunk on our side. We sink four armored cruisers, a protected cruiser, and a destroyer outright. That's a big victory for Britain. Thanks for watching, sailors. Hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Genda, signing off.